Something awesome is going to happen on August 21st. The United States is going to have a total eclipse. And it's also National Cupcake Month. So, how can you photograph the total eclipse with, the, with just your iPhone? Let's find out. So this is what I picked up on Amazon, the Eclipse Bart three-piece kit. And really, all I'm looking for is this little device right here. The only way I was able to get this filter is by buying the package. Uh, and it, I'll have the price listed below, like right there. And yeah, let's take a look. So this little device is made to fit over your camera camera lens, uh, your spotting scope lens, your telescope lens. This is the reflective side. This needs to be pointing outwards. And all you need to do is just fit it over your lens and you should be good. I am going to fit it over my spotting scope. Let's do that right now. So as you can see, I have the filter on, taped it down with duct tape, and it's it's there securely. It's, it's not much to it. You could do this to your spotting scope, which I have in this case. Uh, you can use your telescope or you could use your telephoto lens on your camera. Uh, any of them will work fine. Again, this is my spotting scope. I picked this up on, at, at Target. Uh, it works for me, it does the job, and I have it mounted to my tripod. This is the Goski Universal spotting scope telescope mount uh, I purchased it purchased it from uh, Amazon for just under 20 bucks and it does the job again it doesn't matter what spotting scope you have what cell phone mount you have any of them will work uh, they, they will fit on all of them uh, your universal mount should work on any one of them and I have my old iPhone attached to this uh, because I am using my current iPhone for recording. But yeah, there you go. That is the rig I will be using on the 21st. All right, so there's the live view of the sun. I apologize for the reflections, but it's pretty dark in there, and it's pretty bright outside, so that's, that's just the way it's going to be. Um, what you want to do when, when you're using... When you try to focus on the sun is you want to lock your exposure and focus and if you're using the native camera app you achieve this by just holding down your target for about three seconds and it will lock the exposure and you're good to go always remember the sun is perpetually moving in the sky so you're going to have to move around move your scope around to to uh keep up with it good luck with that but there you go. That is uh, that is the sun, and you are ready to go to photograph the eclipse. And that's it. That's all that I'm going to use to photograph the total eclipse on the 21st. Uh, there are other apps that will help you out. Uh, Timeanddate.com made an app that will track the solar eclipse. So. Uh, for me personally, being in the Boston area, uh, I am only going to get 60% of the solar, solar eclipse there, uh, which, eh, not great, but you know what? 60% is better than 0%, so I'm not going to complain. But get the app from timeanddate.com that will allow you to see what percentage of the total eclipse you're going to receive and exactly what time because for me personally it's going to be between two and three uh it will vary depending on where you are in the country so give that a try again helpful information is in the links below and good luck i hope you enjoyed this uh go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you want more from tiny shutter uh if you really want more from tiny shutter go ahead and check out our audio podcast that can be found on itunes Stitcher, or any podcasting device that you have. Uh, it is hosted by my good friends, Joseph Ferreria and Dave Podner. And go ahead and find me in the social links below. 
and see you next time.